Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to be doing kind of a tag video. So I think it was like a week or two ago, Brie from In Love and Words tagged me in the Your Answers Can't Be Books tag and I thought I would do like a little chatty video we can go on an adventure around my room to answer some of the questions I think it's only like six or seven questions um and basically all the questions your answers can't be any books or book related I guess um so I'm just gonna start and we're gonna see what we go this might be a short video um but let's go into it so what the first question is, what is something you own too many of that is not books? Hmm. This is, oh, I know something. Um, I own a ridiculous, let's go on an adventure. Um, I own a ridiculous amount of uh, dangly earrings and even just like non dangly earrings. Um, so let me show you my, my vanity display. <laughs> okay, so here we have all of my dangly earrings. <laughs> we can move this one over. And we have a whole second section with all the fun dangly earrings. I am a huge earrings person. I have earrings in. I have even more like stud earrings um, in some jewelry boxes. I have probably more, um, not like quite as dangly, but other ones that are like easy to, that won't get tangled or ruined that are in a different jewelry box. So I own a ridiculous amount of earrings. I love them. They're my favorite um, like jewelry accessory. I wear them probably about every day. <laughs> um, and sometimes like I won't do my makeup and I won't get dressed up and I'll be wearing casual clothes, but I'll be wearing like big dangly earrings. So <laughs> I also, um, have more in my mom's room that she uses a lot. Um, but I won't show you those ones, just believe that I have a lot. <laughs> okay, we're back over here. Um, the second question is, what is something you do for fun that's not reading? Um, this is, I watch a lot of cop and crime shows. I love them. I watch them all the time. Um, some of my favorites... Um, and this has been like a thing since I was in middle school. I would come home from school every single day. I would make my after school snack and I would sit on my couch before doing my homework, eating my after school snack and watching Castle and Bones on TV. They were always one after the other. When I got home, there was always one episode of Castle and then Bones would play. Um, so I would usually watch the episode of Castle that was on and then an episode of Bones. And that was my hour after school that I would sit and eat my snack before starting my homework. <laughs> um, and that I would do that every day. Um, <laughs> so that continued to grow as I got even older. Um, I have seen all the crime shows. I love all the cop shows, SVU, I like uh, Rizzoli and Isles, I liked Castle, I like Bones, I like Criminal Minds, I love Criminal Minds, it's probably my favorite. I still watch it all the time, it's like something that I'll have in the background. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but like some people will like do work with like some like nice comedy in the background. No, I do work with Criminal Minds playing in the background. <laughs> I'll usually watch it like before when I'm laying down before like I go to bed um and I love it and I have rewatched it so many times I am actually currently rewatching it again and I'm on to season 10 again from when I started at season one so <laughs> I have probably seen all of the episodes at least five times um 
So that is something that I do for fun. That's not reading. <laughs> The next question is, what is something that's special or important on your nightstand that is not a book? Okay, let's go take a look at my nightstand. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to show you my actual nightstand because it's a freaking mess, but I can show you a couple of things that are on it. Um, the first one that's always on my nightstand is a water bottle. This is the water bottle that I bring everywhere, um, and it's always on my nightstand when I go to sleep. Um, or I'm in my room, that's like where I keep it, and I have to drink a ridiculous amount of water a day, um, even more than the average person has to because of my neurological condition. It can cause me to become severely dehydrated, and it can lead to flare-ups, so I have to drink a ridiculous amount of water a day. <laughs> so I always have that. I have... Um, heating pads always next to my bed. I have these ones that are like the sticky ones and then I also have a plug-in one that I lay on sometimes. Um, I have chronic pain and I also have um, endometriosis and PCOS. So when I have those types of like stomach problems, I also have a gastrointestinal issue. So when I have stomach problems like that, I always like to stick the heating pads on. So sometimes if I just want to put them on and then sleep in them, I will do these ones. But if I'm just laying in my bed for a while, I'll plug in the reusable one and plug it in and have it. Um, but I always have heating pads with me. A couple of other things. Like I said, I have multiple uh, chronic illnesses. So I have prescription pills that are incredibly important. Um, I have headphones. These are my AirPods and I also have I also have uh, over the head headphones that I can use to I guess this is sort of book related because I usually listen to audiobooks with them but I'm also a big music fan so I have two sets of headphones for listening to music or an audiobook or a podcast before I go to sleep. Um, what else do I have? I think that's enough for me to show you. There's a couple other things, but like I said, it's a freaking mess. So I hope you liked that peek into my nightstand. I'm sorry it was so messy over there. Um, <laughs> but the next question is, what is something you buy at a bookstore that's not books? I actually haven't been to a bookstore in like a while um, where I didn't buy anything other than books. Um, I tend to buy a lot of my books online because I read a lot of indie books which are not usually sold in bookstores so I don't go to a lot of bookstores but something that I, I do have a couple of things. Um, one is notebooks. I love a good um, like these ones are dotted notebooks like bullet notebooks but I also have um, lot like notebooks like journal notebooks um, where I don't journal, but I um, take notes on things um, or plan video ideas or uh, do write things for work um, that I have to remember. So I have a lot of like journals and stationary type things like post-its or um, pens I like, and I tend to get those. At, they used to have, they tend to have those at bookstores. Um, another thing is, I actually think I can reach this from here, is I have, it looks like a book. This is like a fake book. Um, but I have a ridiculous amount of bookmarks. Here's more. And another one. And another one. The magnetic ones here, too. Um, so I have... <laughs> I have a ridiculous amount of bookmarks and they tend to sell bookmarks at um, bookstores so I have gotten those there quite a few times. Um, I don't know why I keep buying bookmarks or having bookmarks because I read digital books for the majority of my books. I read digital books. I rarely read physical books anymore so I don't need a bookmark <laughs> but I like having them I guess. Um, so I don't need them but I keep them in this little like fake book thing that I keep on my bookshelf so they're cute um but that's something that I get at books, can get at bookstores 
All right, number five is what is a amazing gift that you've received that was not a book or a gift card to a bookstore? So I actually tend to not get books a lot, or I tend to get book gift cards that I can buy my own books. Um, but my parents, I guess for my favorite ones that I've favorite gifts that I've gotten are my parents tend to get me concert tickets a lot for Christmas or my birthday. Um, I love going to concerts. It's one of my favorite things to do ever. I have been to a lot of concerts. I have a very uh, eclectic and broad taste in music. I love music and I love everything from classical music to punk rock screamo. I have been to all of the concerts. Um, <laughs> So I tend to get gifted the tickets to those concerts. Um, so my parents for my birthday when I was 13, I went to my first ever concert and I came home from school on the day of my birthday, um, which is December 2nd. And I came home on that day when I was 13 and my parents were like, you better get changed. And I was like, get changed. Where are we going? And my dad surprised me and took me to my very first concert. And it was Taylor Swift's Speak Now tour at Madison Square Garden. And it was amazing. And it was the two of us. And it was so, so fun and so great. And that was the first concert that I ever went to. So since then, I have been to probably 20 or 30 concerts. Um, but I, I will always remember that one for me and my dad. Um, my dad has actually been to three Taylor Swift concerts with me, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so probably I would say concerts as my favorite. Concert tickets is my favorite thing to get. I just bought Ben Platt tickets. Um, and it's, the concert is in May of next year and my mom's birthday is the end of April. So it's like a couple of weeks after her birthday. So I bought two tickets and I'm going to take my mom to Ben Platt for her birthday. Um, she already knows, but <laughs> I told her that's what her birthday present is. So I love Ben Platt and so does my mom. So I thought that would be a great birthday present. So fun fact. <laughs> Number six is what is a YouTube channel that you watch that's not book related? So I actually don't watch any channels on YouTube, really, that are not book related. Um, I watch a lot of booktube that I don't read, um, but I don't watch a lot of YouTube channels, specific channels that are um, like not book related, but I do watch a lot of YouTube that's not book related. I just don't follow specific channels. I love musical theater and I tend to look up a lot of like musical theater performances um, or concert performances on YouTube a lot and listen to the music or watch the videos. So I do that a lot. Um, I watch a lot of like um, TV show clips um, on YouTube. Like if I wanna like show a friend something. So like me and my friends are, really love the show New Girl and it's like something that's like really like connects the three of us is that we would always sit in our apartment and watch New Girl. Um, so I watched, I, we have watched a lot of like Schmidt's Best Lines things on YouTube. So like I'll get into like a YouTube like rabbit hole where it'll go down and it'll be like all this stuff about like <laughs> the best character on New Girl or like all the best lines that have been um what's that word it like improv lines on on a specific tv show so I do that a lot <laughs> so I hope that counts but not a specific channel but then the last question is to tag people for the tag so I will link some people down below that I will tag to do this tag but thanks Brie for tagging me I hoped I hope y'all learned something about me that you didn't know before um this was fun and I can't wait to learn everything about learn some things about you guys that I'll tag and please feel free if anyone wants to do this tag and hasn't been tagged by somebody consider this me tagging you because i want to learn about all of you 
<laughs> but that's it so give it a like if you liked it subscribe stick around um comment down below something that i you comment down below something you want to tell me about yourself but that's it so thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day